All right, Dr. Snyder, I know that you played football. Did you ever run track? Mm, it was more than 10 yards, probably not. <laughs> you don't do a whole lot of running. All right, well, a high school student at Polytech in Kent County has been given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. She's been invited to compete in track and field at an invitational down under in Australia. How cool is that? Wow, that's very cool. cool. Yeah, Delmarva Life's Maxine Bensel joined her on the track to find out more. Maxine? Well, many of you probably don't know this, uh, but back in my day, many, many years ago, I was a runner myself, actually ran the hurdles in college, but this young lady right here, Talasia Brookhouse, uh, I'm sure she could have kicked my butt then, but she could definitely kick my butt now. She has been uh, recruited to run down under in Australia this summer at a big time track invitational. Talasia, how'd that all happen? Well, last year I actually did an amazing job in states and placed uh, sixth overall as a freshman against juniors and seniors. So when they sent me a letter, they said they recognized me off my triple jump. And what, what was your reaction when you got this letter? I was excited. I jumped up and down with my mom and I was just honored to be invited. Yeah. So what are you going to be doing when you're down there this summer? Well, my events right now are undecided, but usually I run the 100, 200, 4x1, 4x2, and sometimes triple jump. So sprinter. Yeah. And when she's down there, there's also going to be college coaches and athletes from all around the world. So this could be a really good opportunity for you to possibly be recruited uh, for college in the future. Yes, ma'am. I feel like as a sophomore, just getting early exposure and getting recognized early is a great opportunity because, you know, you don't really get that recognized by top colleges until like your senior year. So I feel... A little excited about that too. Yeah, what an amazing opportunity. But it's not all going to be running all serious when you're down there. You're going to get to do some other things. Tell yeah. us about that. Sightseeing wise, I've never been to Australia, so I think this is going to be a little fun because, like, <laughs> on top of that, I don't have to just worry about running the whole time. So, sightseeing and just meeting new people. Yeah. See some kangaroos, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you get into running in the first place? Uh, when I was younger, Everybody used to say, why don't you just do track because you're always sticking to basketball. You're really fast. So I went out there, field day, and they were like, <sighs> they recorded. I was like, everybody's back here. I'm right here. So I was like, maybe I do need to tap into this. <laughs> so I'm sure Polytech is happy that you did tap into that as well. Uh, Talasia is going to be running July 2nd through July 10th is the competition uh, this summer in Australia. If you'd like to help her get there, there's a link on our website, delmarvalife.com. All right, now... It's time for the moment of truth. We gotta get serious. We're gonna race. No Former problem. track star. Track star. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go start up at the 50, 50 meter line. Head start. Yeah, I need a little bit of head start. We're gonna keep <laughs> you at the start line and uh, we'll go from there, okay? All right. But we're gonna do this off camera because I'm not about to embarrass myself on TV. So Lisa, <laughs> back to you. Wow. We wish her the best of luck. What an opportunity. Oh yeah, absolutely. Bring it home to the Eastern Shore. That's right.